Welcome back on Sports Sit Down on Naperville Sports Weekly. Brian Dunn from the Naperville Central Boys Bowling Team is joining me, and thank you so much. Uh, how's everything going? How, how are you doing? How's the team? Well, I'm I'm doing all right. I mean, I'm still hopeful that we'll we'll get to a season here soon enough. Um, I can't tell you how the team is yet because we didn't get to have a practice. We didn't get to have tryouts. Um, unfortunately, Lyle Lanes was closed um, when November 16th came. So, and they were supposed to reopen today, but with everything shutting down tomorrow. So we haven't seen any bowlers yet outside of online and talking to them, but we've got good numbers coming out this year, which is very encouraging. So let's play the hypothetical game. Is it better to have not even started and have to pause or better to get that tantalizing like day or two of maybe you know, some competitive juices and then having to shut it all down? For me, I think it's best that we just start right at the beginning because then there's going to be so many open questions and doubts and what do I got to do over the two, four, six weeks, however long this um, pause is. But in the same respect, I know that there's bowlers that would have rather had a couple days out there, three or four days, like you said, get it going, know where they're at, and then we could have conversations on what to do in the meantime. But either way, we're, we're going to hit the ground running when the first day on the lanes comes. Yeah, it felt like when the basketball decision came in, it was kind of like, well, you know, kind of an ominous tone to be setting for the winter sports to start. Um, but, you know, what is it like as, as you're trying to coach these athletes? Um, you know, I, I'm sure you have some communication with them. You don't know what your team's going to look like, but how do you keep their spirits up, the guys that you knew were going to come out for the team? Well, it's, it's, it's been tough. I mean, most of the contact is, is through email or through messages on Remind that we use um, because we haven't really had very many students here in school. And the ones that uh, are part of the bowling team, um, I think I've seen a couple of them when we had a testing day back in October. It was always good to see them, but it's, it's just try to keep the messages going, answer any questions as to what they have. And um, I, we're going to have a parent meeting on Monday night. So we'll get everyone together and talk about what's coming up, what we can expect. I think we'll have more information to share, considering that the IHSA is having an executive meeting tonight, mm -hmm. uh, th this Thursday night. So um, we'll go for, forward from there. Um, it can be a matter of talking about equipment to use. It can be talking about situational bowling. And we're going to wind up having some different uh, conversations and videos for them to, to interact with me with. That's for sure. Well, that's awesome. It's, it's interesting with this whole pandemic. I mean, we're nine months in. It, that's crazy in its own right. But, you know, how everybody has adapted. You know, you think a bowling coach would have difficulty instructing and, and keeping in touch with their athletes without being able to be at a, at a bowling alley. But there you go. You know, you've got the training techniques you can share you know, tutorials and stuff like that. How have you felt like maybe that has kind of forced you to adapt and maybe come up with some cool things? Well, I think there'll be more cool things to come, but I, actually the adaptation started at the beginning of quarantine. Um, back in March, uh, myself and my son, Aaron, who was an assistant coach with us um, last year, he had been a collegiate bowler at Lindenwood and he's a member of the PBA. Um, we were doing videos outside, even though it was... 40 degrees and at least the sidewalk didn't have snow on it. So we were able to set up some pins and, and, and go through some different things. Um, as April and May came, we were able to do some general outside training stuff that people could do during the summer, even if we weren't at a lane or couldn't even get together in a group. So, and, and then the adaptation, I, I can see things that I'm going to be able to do um, just from the adaptations we've done from the classroom setting over the last three months. Interesting. What would a bowling season look like if it started back up January 1? Well, I, I'm going to guess that we would have one, if not two weeks of the um, practice process. My guess is maybe one week since considering most schools had a tryout process already. Um, and it'll probably be just a shortened season where we'll have dual matches, um, Probably not a whole lot of big invites, as was already prescribed. Um, I'm hoping that we'll have some kind of a regional or sectional format like uh, golf was able to have, cross country was able to have. That would be a nice way to end the season because 
I, I think it's probably unrealistic to think that we could have any kind of a state tournament regardless of how anything transpires over the course of the next couple months. Thanks, Coach, for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Kevin. And you have a wonderful holiday, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the lanes sooner than later.